200. Hey, little Matt, I guess we run, if we run into any problems, then we're just. Nah, stopped. but that food yeah, gets old so quick. What? Didn't you used to be like a mat? Nah, I lost all that. Why? Wait, why? Wait, what did you I just like lost all of it. If anything fucks up with the cameras, are we fucked? And, and I said I yes. Like, what, Davis, won't you... Roger will hand me a camera and I'll be like, it's like, I forgot all of it. How? Actually, though, or you're just saying that because you're just like, no, I can't that's tell. not me no more. I can't tell. I think, no, I did I think I forgot everything. Like, when I went to edit for a couple of times, I was like, I don't know. Dude, I, when I went to edit like a year ago for a video, I didn't remember anything. You just, remember how fast we were at the scuff house? Yeah. Dude, I, didn't, dude, dude. I used to get cracked and yeah. I would edit. <laughs> and it I would just be like two, three room. straight hours. You guys look like you were going through it though. At the scuff house? Yeah. Both of you guys had like the same stress. Fuck yeah. I need to get a video uploaded. That was like your guys' daily stress. Yeah, we would look at you guys and be like, they have it so easy. All they have to do is be the best. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Honestly, it, did, it was easier than it looked. To be the best? Long time, yeah. Dude, like, that's what I'm saying. What do you mean? Like, I put in the same effort. I just wasn't the best. Oh. I was like, no, you don't. I thought you were talking about I think there's, like... Is it genetics? No. Nah, there's seen, something about play, your dude, thumb I've specifically. You play, I've seen you play some really good Halo before. Yeah. What about me? But I've never seen you play Halo. Okay. Or, or trust God. me, it's the same thing. You seem like a diamond level video gamer. Well... I feel like you can go me. diamond in every single game. Actually, yeah, that makes me feel good. Diamond. I was gonna say that hurts, but in that League makes of me Legend feel good. because no, diamond's diamond. pretty relatively high. Like if you could get that in league, I'd, I'd be really he ain't impressed. Getting the, he ain't getting diamond. I in feel league. like you can get diamond in Val. I feel like you guys have gotten diamond in Apex. Yeah, we're we're like diamond Halo we're like sure. going through. I think I think if we put our, our our effort into it, we can get whatever's above diamond and everything. Is Blake the best of you three? In yeah, in like the, just like in video games. No, George is better at COD. Oh really? Like at multiplayer COD. Oh, wow. But Blake picks up games super fast. Is George just like the all around? He's like the straight shooter. Like uh, I feel like Blake yeah. is like the the highlight reel. Yeah, he's like the no yeah, skill. Uh, George is like the George reliable. is consistent. Yeah. Oh, reliable. yeah, exactly. Yeah, super consistent. And then me just making dick jokes. Yeah. Hey, what are the, you doing exactly? Are you really like running the stream? You know, are you the worst of the three? Uh yeah. At everything. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> then why is your picture like the biggest? Because I, I brought him with, you know? Do you guys ever, like, argue about that? What? Do they ever snap at you like like it's some sort of, like, wolf circle and you're the alpha and then one of them wants to, like, step up and take the spot? Yeah. We yeah, all do just that. like, I want my camera bigger now. <laughs> yeah, we've all done that. specifically. No, not. Because doesn't Davis have, like, half the cam and they have, like, two of the cams? No, we switched it up. Oh, you switched it up. Now we're even. Oh, really? See, like, how did that happen? Who brought that up? One of those like, conversations. Nah, I'm sick of really? this shit. Yeah. That's I what I'm saying. I knew it. I mean, that's what happens. At this point, I don't think that's like bad at all because at this point you guys are just we've been doing at it for first so it was hitch his right. two best friends also yeah, known as tst now it's tst yeah all because three now you. you guys you guys are big now like we're trying there's gonna like there's always gonna come a time where your like little trio of friendship is gonna be very tested. Dude, that's crazy that's oh like, it's already happened a couple yeah, times where like dollar signs you thrown around right and that's why we say we say there's nobody else could do this it's pretty hard. I mean, like, or they Nick break Merckx, up as friends. Yeah, or they would. Didn't for like sure. Nick Merckx, Neo, and yeah, that's really what, guy? Well, I don't. I don't know if he ever said it. Amps. Yeah, amps. I, like the original, like M fan trio. Like a, they were like a, a tight knit trio. Like a trio. And then trio. something went wrong. I don't know if anything went wrong. I, I think Nick got Nick really and big. And then I'm assuming they asked for a lot of money. And then I'm assuming he said, "Fuck that! I don't need you guys." I don't I mean, know. That's just what I. That's I what Nick Merckx played with his like best friends. Yeah, I thought that he played is with, like, what Neo happened. And Amps, and then randomly, like one day, I just realized, like, oh yeah, they don't play together anymore. What happened? And I've never heard anyone talk about it. Well, Neo's on phase now. I mean, they're yeah, all boys. Yeah, Neo is disgusting. Yeah. yeah, but they were like IRL best friends. I don't know. I don't like, know. I maybe. But like early M Fam days, like Black Ops Three, Ghost. Yeah, they grinded they, nightly. Fortnite, they played everything. Anytime together. Nick was live, they were live with yeah. him. Yeah, it was like a show. Yeah, and, and they they yeah. wouldn't stream while Nick was live. Yeah, exactly. So I think exactly. it's just crazy so. that I feel like they might have been gamer friends. Honestly, I have no idea, but yeah, it's crazy that you did it with like your IRL like yeah, best friends from nuts, home. Yeah. That's, that's like nuts. going pro that's, with a 
like, like I always wanted to go pro or like team with one of my locals yeah. or like someone from my town or like yeah that'd be sick but it, they just weren't they couldn't just, they, just they just I mean they didn't eh. <laughs> yeah I mean yeah I guess yeah, they, yeah, just they, didn't just, have they, they weren't good enough to like go to the next they level they just never evolved yeah they didn't go to the next level well like, did you hear what happened on the Joe Budden podcast you know how you used to do a podcast with those with uh, the white guy Roy and, the, and Mal uh -huh. Rory and Mal uh they they went apparently what the what they say is they went forward and it was like hey can we have a percentage of since we're signing this big deal can we have a percentage of that deal and joe budden said no like it's going on my channel and everyone blah blah so he didn't even like and so they split up yeah and, and i remember reading that and i texted blake and george i was like yo nobody could do what we do uh, if, if joe budden can't do it we can nobody else can do this oh shit. that's joe budden though <laughs> joe <laughs> I know, Budden's I know. Like, but there's always i can see when joe there's budden three doing when that. there's three people one of them is going to be a joe budden yeah yeah like imagine if we started a podcast the three of us and then two years from now apple wanted to buy it for a hundred million how would already there's tension there's tension Why already you, you looking at me you both would just like looked at me and i just wanted no i just want well, to know i was kind of imagining in my head like like what am i gonna so, do with so my what if it was us podcasting then like formal joined and our suddenly our views started skyrocketing right and then it blew up and then we got a deal would formal be like nah i need the, yeah, i need, I need 80 yeah y'all have fun with 10 the, would, do you think, you think, that, do you think that i would ever say that actually? no i don't think no. you would but somebody what do you think my number would be if i if we randomly had a contract put in front of us right now a contract for 100 and i was like and someone was like what do you think your worth is in this what, what do you think my number would be what, what would i tell them uh, it depends on how this podcast like if it was is, but I would say three like, doing a podcast. Yeah. I would say like 45, 50. Like if someone came to us and was like, like Maybe say this hasn't happened yet, but they were like, yo, we got an idea. We want you three to do a podcast. Mm -hmm. Then what would the numbers be? Yeah. yeah weekly podcast. We'll give you guys blank, blank and blank. Just say, yeah, say a million for a year mm -hmm. just to make it even. What percentage would formal be? Mm-hmm. I mean, I would like to just split it three ways. Like, I feel like I'm always a fair guy. And <laughs> See what like, I mean? I'm just down this, for fairness. Okay. What are you? You're for sure getting the least. <laughs> See? For, like, for sure. I was, I'm probably 50. 50? That's, I mean, that's what I would like. 50, 25, 25? But I would never, ever go above 50. I feel like some people out there might go above 50. They might even go to 90. Yeah. You know? I don't know. I'm not, I'm I not used to be 50. Guy. I'm not 50 like, anymore, though. Like for, three, I was for TST. Like if we were all in the in for for like a third, then I would be like, I don't know. Actually, I, I'd go for a third too as well. You would we'll go like, for a third, then, yeah. Because then, then, nah, yeah, I'd probably do a third. If I but, would sign fifty and then feel bad after the first time I get paid, yeah, and be like, nah, I say right. I feel like yeah. that just it just like I don't know. I feel like it like wouldn't work because eventually. It'd be like, man, like mm -hmm. we keep doing these podcasts, keeps getting more popular and more popular. He's taking fifty yeah, percent yeah, of it. Yeah. We're splitting the rest. Yeah. And then it like, it's like maybe the episodes wouldn't continue to be as good, right? Cause because there's like, some right. like resentment in the circle, yeah. right? Yeah. And that's that's what we have. Like, is that what's going on with TSC? No, because we 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 are very <laughs> open. Like, <laughs> we are very open. Like, if something if you guys feel a certain way, you have to that's say good. something. That's good. Because like we've been boys. Yeah, you know, like you're not gonna hurt someone's feelings, right? I mean, if, if you do, maybe you will. But who cares? Like, you need to change it. You know I how feel... like if you're friends for seven years, you're friends for life. That's what people say. Do they say that? I've never heard that before. You never heard that? No. Have you oh. heard that? I feel like you just made that up. Oh yeah. well, somebody said that to me one time, and yeah, I well, believe you made it up. I've carried carry you made it up for TSD when you were taking fifty percent. <laughs> that's fucked that's uh funny. no it's uh it, i've heard that that's like a saying if you're yeah, friends okay. for seven years you're friends on, for life, and we've been friends for like 12 years i could years. see it right it's definitely not a saying i could see it being a saying it's definitely a saying it's there somebody's gonna back me up there's, there's a saying like that though yeah but we've been friends for like 50, like 13 years so we're good Fuck. it's it's like way closer 13 than, years yeah it's insane wow like early high school and how big how like how long was it that your camera was the biggest uh, <laughs> a year one year one i ain't gonna lie i've never thought of Definitely like that. uh, that's like two years been your thoughts for tsc and for i sure. feel like that's never really entered my mind of uh, like your webcam being the biggest that's just how really? it works that's, it's a, just, that's, a, that's the first thing i noticed with the dimensions here, that's the first thing i know we're getting i can't we're getting I feel into like this. i would be fine but do you, you not like talking about this no i don't mind i'm it. just genuinely curious 
I don't think people. I don't think we we the three of us talk about it all the time. But I've never had anybody ask us. Really? That's why you're I asking. See, I'm like, I, holy this shit. is the first thing I thought when I watched the stream. Really? Yeah. No, the the hmm. reason that I was like, damn, his webcam's pretty big. <laughs> no, I was like, damn, they're all live under Davis. It's like a it's like a it's like a Hydra streamer, it's like three heads. Yeah. One thing. But then I was like, damn. But it goes to like his PayPal. Like, mm -hmm. how does that work? No. You just split three ways, automatically. Yeah, because of the cool. business. And then and you so got okay. Does, so does the Streamlabs. Everything goes to the, the business. business. Blake's wife. Oh. <laughs> Gotta watch out for Careful that. Careful for that. Careful for you taking us off the top. <laughs> um, you never yeah. accuse his wife. She's like a percent for me. <laughs> <laughs> like Blake, that would George never happen. Hitch. One for our dog. Me. One for our one other for dog. Lupin, <laughs> one for me. No, yeah. Everything. Everything. That's crazy, bro. Yeah, we worked I it all out. I wish you the best of luck with that little trio. It's been. Go I, I hope there's never a day where we're looking back on some like really famous. bad crash and burn, and we're like, "Damn, we kind of predicted that." Yeah, what was that about? Yeah, like, people I are gonna come back. This episode pop. People are gonna come back to this, clip it, and be like, "Formal new." I just feel like eventually, like egos would collide. There's there's gonna be a time when you guys get big enough to where you all have an ego. The only people that have an ego and outside a game are me and Blake. So if anything ever happens, yeah, I feel like George would George is anything. just there. George, I feel like George has an ego, but he George wants has to an ego play in that game. He doesn't have an ego. In game, George has an ego. Okay, but when it comes yeah, to everything that. else, like yeah, he's actually, I, I just could chill. See that. But he's like yeah. nobody shoots straighter than me, even you two. And we're like, damn, damn. He's never that. said that, but I can tell he thinks it. Do that. you think there's tension between Blake and George of who's, who's better? The best? yeah. Ooh, I think yes. I think Blake thinks uh, he's the best. But I, I think I it's think so I think it's competitive though. Like it's not like tension. It's more like they compete against each other, even though we're on the same team. Yeah, type call whatever you want. They do all. But that's mostly because I'm like, yeah, you guys. I'm just like well, I like watch over them as they compete, and then so I, you think I you're like the Joe also, mediator. Yeah. Well, no. Do you think you're the alpha of the three? No. Who's the alpha? There's no alpha. There's definitely an alpha. No. Three beta. How we, there's 100. Yeah, you shouldn't claim that. I you feel better like say there's an alpha. <laughs> Don't say our little triple beta group. I, I mean, it depends I on what we're like Blake's feisty. Are we talking about in game? Mm. I'm talking about overall. Is anything life betas? How we said it is, I'm the dad of CST and Blake's the mom. He handles all the like logistics. Yeah, <laughs> and then like when it comes to like what we should do going you're, forward, you're like beating on the drum, right? So you, you're, <laughs> you're kind of the alpha of the, of, the, of the squad, actually. I wouldn't say that. No, actually, I would. George the alpha. It's easy to say George because he's not the alpha. You just said that you're yeah. the mom. <laughs> so I just say George. Yeah. Okay. Whatever. Nah, this doesn't really. Know. I mean, it worked. That's why I'm saying all these conversations is why I don't think anybody else could do if it. If I say I hate the term alpha and beta, does that does that automatically make me a beta? Make you a Charlie? What's under beta? Brandon calls it a Zelda. <laughs> like the ultimate beta. He calls it a Zelda. Zelda? I've never even heard of that word. Are serious? Yeah, it's so stupid. But every time, I feel like it's like cringe every time. Like, you ever scroll through TikTok and see like these alpha beta discussions with like people just talk about alpha and beta and like, how, or like how to get girls and being an alpha and mm. all that. And I'm like, this is so like cringe. It is kind of cringe, huh? Yeah. I don't really it's, like, it's like they're, they're like being extra, like, uh, extra vulgar and extra harsh in the way they're saying it to make it seem like that's making them more alpha. Oh, yeah. And I'm just like, you just kind of sound like a tool. Yeah. Like I agree with some uh, yeah, of what you said. Like, I, I agree say with some, alpha, of, yeah, I agree like with some of what you said, but you just sound like you're just like the loudest guy in the room. Yeah. And I don't think that's really an alpha. Yeah. It's like you could be an, uh, can you really be an alpha if like nobody respects the alphaness in you? I feel like being an alpha is when you're at like a, a, a hotel bar <laughs> And you were just noticing like all the conversations going on, but you realize that when you're talking to someone, they're fucking listening. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Like they're paying attention to what the fuck you're saying. Like Sundance. Like someone just like yeah yeah <laughs> like yeah like, Adam like, like when yeah. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah 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 like when he comes up and gives you a different high five, you know? Yeah. You're like damn, when it's alpha, you guys kind of like because you you know what I'm saying? Oh, yeah. Because it's like damn, he respects me way more than you guys. He just made that obvious. <laughs> he said, "Stand up, give me a hug." Like, you, you know? <laughs> he fist bumps everybody else in his for you. Yeah, exactly. But, yeah. Uh, yeah. Yo, question that we were going over with uh, last flycast. So, mm. say you killed someone. Yeah. Oh Jesus! I just want to know his answer. Okay. Say like you got into an argument with a random guy in the parking garage. Bar fight. No, no, it has to be parking a parking garage. garage. Mm -hmm. Just you and another dude. Parking garage. Okay. Randomly go at it. You fight him. You kill him. I fight him to the death. You you kill him. Oh, my God. So now you have a, a body. Okay. Top floor of the parking garage. Top th floor. Three a.m. Who, makes it easier. who do you who do you call to move the body to I'll help you? I can't you just trust leave, anybody at that point. You I don't leave call it there? nobody. No, I just do. I just do what I have to do. Oh, you so you handle it yourself? I would try to, as best as my ability. 
if you so, had so I figured, to call, I if I, if comes, I killed somebody, I would if think, you had to, I would think, I would think I'm, oh, if you're just asking, the question is talking about who would I call? Who would you call? Damn, he was about to go into how to hide the body. I was. Yeah, we'll, we'll get there. Yeah. <laughs> I'd either call, okay, I'd either call Nick. Ooh. Because. I feel like because, I would be trustworthy. Because, yeah, I, okay, yeah. Yeah, I could trust him, like, not saying anything for, like, a week, at least, probably. No. But, yeah. like, no, but, like. Trust. I, I, I can trust snitching. for him to, like, if I told him I had a dead body at the, next to, like, the Civic, mm -hmm. like, I feel like Nick would show up and at least help somewhat or just be like, okay, I don't know what to do. Like, at least come, you know? Because mm -hmm. I'm just like, dude, I'm freaking the fuck out. Like, I feel like I would right be now. like, look, I am not helping you, but. I will never tell anyone this conversation happened. Damn. Like, so I'll you, die you with this. wrong, because he won't help you. But no, that's why I said I'd either pick I him. I'll be like, man, I can't, like, <laughs> nah. I can't be, like, an accomplice. I'd yeah. pick him or Hector. Yeah, I'll see. see I thought Hector, about Hector, Hex, too, I, I feel like but, I'm like, I feel like a week later, Hex would, he, I feel like he would just have to tell someone. Like, he would tell Hitch. He would tell someone from, it mm. would just come out of his mouth. I actually don't think it would. Like in if one it was of those something rock. like that, I actually don't think it would. Yeah, because at that point he's putting your, you, him, his family in jeopardy, you in jeopardy, and Optic in jeopardy. Imagine Hector, if Hector's face was posted, dead body, and the, it's like Optic's mm -hmm. over. His Optic, whole life's Optic work Optic is killers. over. With a Z. <laughs> Wait, I think Hex actually texted me. He was like, you better not fucking text me, or you better not hit me up if you actually kill someone, you fucking idiot, or oh, like, that something like that. Because <laughs> we I was sitting here debating, like... Uh, it'd probably be Hex. No, I couldn't tell Hex. And then Hex, like, because I just can't imagine Hector just being. I can't texting. imagine Hector picking up the phone and being like, "No, nah, I can't help you, bro. Peace." I just don't think that's how the conversation yeah. would go. See, I feel like Hex, Hex would know. He would be he like, "I'm gonna send you a number. An I'm, I'm gonna text somehow. you a number, but don't ever tell. Like, but we never have the conversation." Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. You know? yeah and I'll yeah, call yeah. someone I don't know. Yeah. Man. Like, you know, I'd be like, "Holy shit!" He get his like cousin to help for fucking something. Some, somebody. Yeah, I feel like. Yeah. Yeah, he would have Mario Trump. He right. would, I feel like he would. <laughs> he would Mario Trump <laughs> just cleans it perfectly. <laughs> he brings his van that he like carries all the drinks and shit to the HQ with. Just pop just the like, body. the body back he there. He sees the way Mario is just like, "What's up, man?" He's he says that. What's good, bro? Yeah, oh, I can take care shake, of this. You're I can take care of this, bro. <laughs> just step back. Just step back. He like cleans just, it all like, up thanks, and Mario. everything. I just go back to the Civic. And go to bed. Like, thanks, Mario. <laughs> Clutch. Nah, but yeah, I don't, I don't even think, I don't know. We were, it's just like, la uh, how this all came up is last last time on the podcast, we talked about this TikTok where like somebody, uh, this girl was like, did you know that like almost all, every guy has thought about like how to rob a bank? Like if they could rob a bank? Yeah, I've thought about it. Yeah. And I was like, yeah, I've, I've definitely thought about that. And I then think the, every girl has too. You think girls have? Yeah. What? Rob a bank. It's too enticing to not fantasize about at least once. I don't and, think... so, and then play for way or another. Whether you're not, you're saying you got to rob a bank is like. Like if okay, uh, robbing a bank when I'm ten is like, it's like robbing the snack bar in my baseball game. That's robbing a bank. You're still thinking about robbing a bank. Mm. That's just an immediate bank to me. I get. What I'm you're not saying. going to fucking Wells Fargo at in ten. In right. Car, you know, but like, I, 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 but I definitely have means of stealing if if I want to. Yeah. See, we were talking about how like girls so don't have that thought because I. No, I, what? You guys I don't are think faded as fuck. I, I feel, feel like they, they have a they have that kind of. Like what do you think weird thought, but like it's like something else. Let me put it this way: What do you think they're doing when they're flirting with you at a bar? They're robbing you. You're the ba you're, the, <laughs> you're bank. the bank. I'm not even trolling. Think about it. You're the bank, and Mental they're trying jewels. to think. They're thinking how to get money out of you, right? Especially and if there's like, two of them, and it's in New York, New Orleans. Damn, you are the bank. <laughs> you you are the bank at that point, and they're assessing each person. And when they're at a bar, they're thinking like looking them up and down, thinking, okay, you your bank is probably not worth that much. Look at you. You look like a slob. Right, or the guy comes up in a five thousand dollar Marnie suit, and you think like this guy probably has a pretty decent sized bank. Can that be mine somehow? Okay, I, yeah, sure, I'll have sex with them. Or another know. another weird example that I said on the last episode was, uh, I was walking into the HQ, and a guy like that works for Nerdvana like walked past me, and like I didn't pay him any attention. I'm just looking at his phone or looking at my phone. And I think he was like listening to music and he was like mumbling something. And I was in my head, I was like, is he talking to me? And then I went through a whole scenario in my head while coming up to the HQ. Like, what if he just started talking shit to me? And then like we get in an argument and we like we're about to fight. And then he pulls out a knife and I start running and I lose my sandal. Like, would he get my sandal and like throw it on top of the like HQ or like on top of just like random thoughts like that? so high. Like I feel it. Five story sandal toss. Right. No, there was a ledge. I specifically saw it. <laughs> oh, just like, like just putting it up on the rim. Me, as he was passing me, the enti this entire scenario was yeah. going through my head. Why? 
I don't know. I think we were talking about like, we were that's talking, just that's were you getting, like, like how guys vibes from him. No, that's like, not are you at ever all. like? Wait, what are you talking? You ever like? A it's like how or guys think, and like I feel like girls nah, yeah, don't yeah, yeah. think like I'll that. I'll think, I'll, yeah, no, no. I, or like I, if I you get in like, an elevator dude, with someone, no, you're like, exactly. what if something like, popped off? Dude, right I'll, be now, think, like, I'll be thinking shit like that when I'm picking up my DoorDash at like 3 a.m. Yeah, I'm like, can I square with this guy if I have to? <laughs> and I'm like, and I'm like, I'm so fucking hungry. Oh, I'll actually shit. screw with this guy, like if I if I have to, uh, <laughs> right? If he says like, he like pearls on the window, he says like, it's my food, fat fuck. I'm like, no, wait, what? Uh, like at first of all, I'm like, wait, what? <laughs> I'm thinking like, what did he just say? But but then like my second that thought just will throws be like, you off. Just, like, yeah, I, right, it would check me out fine. so hard that I'm like, okay, bye. Like I, I wouldn't even have a comeback ready. I'd yeah, just, just like, what the fuck yeah. just happened? <laughs> but nah, but yeah, that was just, guys definitely think like that. You'll yeah, just think. You'll just sure. think like, can I take him? See, I wonder. That's what you'll think. You'll think like, can I take this guy? Or like, if I have to, your waiter comes in. What am I grabbing? Like, yeah, like you're, you're, like your girlfriend gives like the a waiter a, a nice look. You're like, can I take this waiter if I have to? Like, okay, fine. <laughs> I, I could probably take this waiter. This guy's kind of small. And we were just wondering, like, what would the girl's version of that be? Like just she's swindling? looking at the waiter and she's looking at another bank uh, and she's like she's assessing his wealth. She's constantly just robbing banks. Uh, I mean, like I don't know. This one kind of feels like sometimes. Like when you hear about all these stories of like guys getting fucked over with money and like it's always like a split down the middle divorce. I'm like, damn, that's a bank robbery. Yeah, they walking away from with fifty mil. That's a bank robbery. Jeff Bezos's yes, that was a bank heist. That was that was a heist that was like a twenty five, however long they were together, year long romance. That's how long it took. But that shit was all planned very delicately, probably. I mean, to be realistic, they have to know when they're, like, getting married, they're like, fuck yes. Like, when they finally get married, oh, especially yeah. without a prenup. Oh, yeah. Like, in their head, they're like, F- uh, I'm good for life. <laughs> like, they yeah, literally I mean, like, know they're even, good for life It's not even like I'm trying to, like, point. hate on it, because, like, I, I fuck with it. Like, if that's your goal, like, at, like the wedding, no one, it's like, no wonder they all love the wedding day, right? Like, it's like their favorite fucking day, I feel like. like every girl looks forward to their wedding day. I'm looking forward to my wedding day, but not like that. I feel like you know, you, like, I'm like, eh, it's whatever, it's my wedding day. Yeah. A girl's, it's her favorite day of their life. Why is that? Because you fucking, you, you know you're about that? to be secure for the rest of your life. Yeah. That's kind of dope. That is some nice security. <laughs> I feel like I would, I would think the same if I married, like, a rich woman. And then we did get a prenup. I'd be like, yeah. uh, it would. No, I'd feel sure. so secure. Exactly. Like, that's what I'm saying. I don't. I don't think it's like. like I, it's just just, I don't think it's just a girls thing. I think guys do it too. Yeah. I feel like there's guys out there that like. Just I don't know. They just think like yeah, I don't know, maybe mamas. maybe I'm maybe I'm just a pretty face or something. So that's, and that's all I have. So I'm just gonna get, pick up like a, a 40 year old woman at this bar. Looks like she's got money, and uh, maybe I'll just be like her little like boy toy. I ain't gonna right? lie. I've thought of. I've kind of thought of that. Like maybe I should try something older. You'd be good at it. I feel like you could. You'd pull be a, a good like boy a, toy. Like a, you could pull a milf. Yeah, I, I'm sure I, all I, the I might, rich milfs watching the flycast are, are probably gonna hit you up. They're now. like, look at this young, wild, yeah. crazy. Like you're just like you're just a remembrance of what it's like to be young to them. Uh, yeah. Like to the core. Yeah, yeah I've like actually <laughs> yeah. recently thought about it. Show drunk, hey, <laughs> neck tats, yeah, neck tats. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, I'd do it. Just like in a wife beater at a bar. Wait, when are you going to Mexico? You just fought someone. Next. <laughs> just just fought someone, ripped wife beater. Yeah. You feel Slightly like, bleeding. Sorry, sorry. And she's like, here, let me help you. And you're like, thank you. I bet that is like so attractive to them. Like yeah. if, if, if a guy's like, not getting it's beat like up, but if like, if I walked in and you could tell I just got in a fight and I got, I got like, like, say, like, I got like a scratch with like blood. Coming down my neck, like wife beater ripped. Your like knuckles are bruised. Tats showing, knuckles bruised. Knuckles bleedy. I feel like you're bleeding. turning yourself on right now. Right? I know. I know. He, <laughs> he was like, he kept going. I was like, uh, like nipples I'm, I'm hard. Sure moms uh, think that's hot. You think so? Oh yeah. Probably. I feel like at that point you're like you're like resonating testosterone. But I feel like they never. It's like an aura. Is there like a podcast where with like older women talking about younger guys? I don't think so. Yeah, that needs to happen. You think so? You would. You would I wonder because I, I don't know what they think. Like, is a cougar about younger guys? Is a cougar like a single mom, or is it just like a mom that's also a cougar? Probably I think both. It's just, like has affairs with. Depends younger on how dudes. scumbaggy she is. Mm. If she's trying to. So it, it doesn't. It's not like. But like it's a, not for a, one of the other. It's a like, single mom out there is gonna go like going like she might like, even claim to be a cougar. Right, right, right. But like if you're talking about somebody who's trying to get away from her husband, then yeah, yeah probably same thing. Pool but boy just type deal. Pool boy. Like how often do the pool? Like how often do he's pool out there boys, wearing his wife beater tat show? Yeah. How often do <laughs> how, how, often do, how often do you guys think that pool boys get laid? Uh, that would be amazing if it did happen to you though. Like, I if feel, you are the no, pool boy, dude, like, that I feel would be like great. that's happening a lot more than we think. You think so? I think so. I really do. 
with people like Fear Itself. If Fear Itself is a pool boy, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what? If you go, if, like you come home. Why do you just imagine Fear Itself as a pool boy? I, I just think of like hot young guy, and he came to my mind. I don't know. <laughs> I think of a of a guy that would be able to fuck hot older women, and that's who came to mind. Yeah, fear itself for sure. That makes sense. Sure. I tip it. I can see that. I can see him. I'm envisioning him as a pool boy. He'd be yeah. a good pool boy. I am now, and he looks great. <laughs> he looks. Yeah. He looks amazing. <laughs> yeah, that's funny. Um, like that, the, but no, I think it happens a lot more than you think. It's, so you, you think it, it it goes past? The, it just doesn't the get fantasy. talked about. I think it goes past the stigma. I think it it actually gives it, it provides a fantasy for like moms. So what's the what's the reverse of that? It's for a win win. I don't think there's I think the reverse of that for guys is like Secretary? No. It's, nah, it's, yeah. Yeah. Kind of. Yeah. Secret- babysitter? That's, yeah. Babysitter, yeah. Maybe? Actually, babysitter's probably way better. Fuck yeah. How often is like <laughs> <laughs> I just realized how I said that I'm like, fuck. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Like our babysitters, I don't. I've ne- I never had a babysitter. So like our babysitters really traditionally eighteen years old plus. It's, or it, that it's, it's, does it go off your age? It like, depends. If, like, if I'm four, age, she could be fourteen. Yeah. If I'm ten, she right. has to be eighteen. Yeah, that right? kind of thing. Something like that. Okay. It's like if you're if you're young and like you, if you don't have a babysitter a lot, then it's usually like people like like high schoolers that just want a little bit extra money. Right. All right. But if it's like a nanny, like somebody's going to be there all the time, mm. then it's somebody a little bit older. Right. That's what I think, but yeah. either way, both are probably. Yeah, I wonder. I, I don't know. I wonder how much like the movies, the 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 way that movies describe certain things, like the pool boy, right, and yeah. like the babysitter. Like if you like, I wonder how often shit like that's actually happening. Let's just say if you were a wife and you were looking for a nanny, and it was between two nannies, you're not picking the hotter one. Oh, for sure not. You're picking yeah. the not hotter one. For sure one. not. You're picking the like, old one. Whoa, I'm not going like, to have sure this, about her, like, this thing around my husband. It's yeah. not going to happen. And I bet you the same shit happens with pool you know, like boys. Like a short yeah. skirt and shit. Yeah. yeah. You don't think the, the dad hires like an attractive pool boy? Oh, absolutely not. He's looking at like the... If yeah. I had to hire a pool boy, I would get the job done the way I wanted it to get it done. Let's yeah. just say that. Yeah. If he's neck tatted... Are pool girls a thing? Could be. Why is it just a actually pool? at this point? I just want to buy like a like a machine that cleans the pool for yeah. me. I put it in there. It doesn't have I'm to fuck sure they anyone. Have that already. Yeah, so that's what I'll do. I swear they have those already. They're, I'll buy pretty pool intricate machine. too. Except like when they get put up against the filter, they start going rogue and they start making a bunch of noise. It kind of sounds like it's like it's like you had for a itself. Pool, didn't you? Yeah, and I had one of those things. And anytime I, you anytime never I had get a pool boy. F- nah, we have one now actually, but it's like an older dude. It's like, a, it's, old, like like a, it's like a maintenance guy. Yeah, of. it looks like it's like if my dad did pick him, it's like I'm like good choice, dad. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Because <laughs> like I don't know, this guy's like a. Old, I mean, he looks like he's a surfer dude, but I'm, what are you expecting from SoCal? A SoCal po- yeah, like yeah, pool yeah. boy. I mean, like I'm expecting like some to be like I don't know current surfers. Like, bro, I remember going to your house and it was like because I went from literally like Maryland, not fucking, not really the country, but sort of the country, then just like. Not poor, but like almost poor. And then I go to your place, <laughs> okay. and it's just on the fucking hills. Like it was just like a whole new scenery. I feel oh, like I'd never yeah. saw before. Yeah. And that was like early in my career before mind. I even like traveled like that either. I knew it was gonna blow your mind. Oh, yeah. Because <laughs> <laughs> yeah. because I didn't realize how privileged I was until I was like traveling a lot. Yeah, like growing up, you probably didn't. I didn't even know, yeah. dude. Where I grew up, like where my parents did re- really well. But like we were like, I wouldn't say like the like we weren't rich compared to our, my friends. Yeah. yeah, all my friends in high school, dude, they have mansions. They have legit mansions. Were you did they like a, did a lot of them have more money than you? Yeah, so for to sure. you, you're like, damn, that must yeah. be nice. I'm just thinking that's like, wild. I'm just like, that's just different. Yeah. Like, like, like one of the kids I knew, like his his dad made like chips for iPods. Like what? Yeah, you know, I was like, no wonder this house looks like this. Yeah, like ridiculous houses. That's I'm like, so is this wild. serious? Like, is this like your parents aren't home? They're just like, no, they're home. I'm just like, what? Yeah. <laughs> they're What's home. They're on, on the fifth floor. Yeah, they're taking shots downstairs. What? I'm like, <laughs> what's going on here in Orange That's County? Wild. You know, Orange County is like a, a fucking. It's like a bubble. It's really like a bubble. Dude, I didn't think you were ever. Whenever I didn't think you were ever gonna leave LA. Like yeah, whenever, whenever so you went either. home after the scuff house, and then you've never been to my house, huh? I've never been. No. Yeah, you picture I live in LA. I don't live in LA at all. Or sorry, Cali. Because like LA. I, I always I always say that. I don't know the difference between like Orange County, LA, 
Oh yeah, San Diego. Like I just say like, LA. I just know if I would it's know, like over in that way. If it's I over just there, say LA. If it's not San Diego. I mean, it's, it, yeah, I don't know. <laughs> but it's yeah. I just know the LA. The way the LA lifestyle is, it's like really fast and like go go go. <coughs> yeah, it's like the opposite of where I live. So it's like I don't know, Real Housewives of Orange County type shit. That's what okay. Matt told me about my driving that I would fit in in LA because yeah. I'm so like fast and He's like, so like non hesitant. He doesn't hesitate. Do you think I'm a bad driver? I think no. you're a bad driver. I just I feel bro. <laughs> <laughs> I just took my uh, motorcycle license test and like they had like. Why, a, dude, can you stop doing fucking that? Fucking hell! Why? Can you Mike, stop? Dude, why has you, that been the response from everyone? Because because I actually <laughs> because. I've known you for a long time. I actually don't trust you on a motorcycle, bro. I don't think you should pursue that at all. I'm being dead serious. No, I ain't gonna lie. Like at first, because I know like I suck and like I'm scared. Like I'm gonna be like super careful. But the scary part will be like when I get comfortable. Yeah, yeah. Texas, that's what we're talking about. To, that's why we're saying the this. place I got my like certificate or whatever the fuck it's called. Uh, that gives me it's legal for me to ride without a helmet or anything. So I can just like literally hop on my bike and just go. Dude, I still think that's once on record. I just don't think you should pursue that at all. That's what you said. Hitch. Let's page. Do, like, let's do you're not, a, you're not a motorcycle guy. You know what they look like, and you know it's not you. You're just doing it because you're Except fucking bored. Except mine's going to be, yeah. Okay, so is. just don't, just skip this one. Just go on to your next stupid thing. Like, say you were a motorcyclist, you're you know bored again. You how long it took me to find this and to actually get up and, like, get something new? Like, I, I, I guess. Out of all I the things, we were telling you to get something new, <laughs> and out of all the things, I thought you were in a box. It, I would much rather you box. You could box, dude. You should box. That's what you should yeah, be doing. I you should do. be boxing. Yeah, box. I kind of do want to do that. You should not Keeping be motorcycle. Your, right now, motorcycle I'm injured, keys. though. What's injured on been, you? My elbow, my shoulder, and my lower back. From what? I haven't worked out in like yeah, four days. Me neither. From working out so much, I think. Are you working and out And my body long? just like, I, I think Why I had overtrained. Mm -hmm. huh? How much do you go to the gym? I was probably doing like 10 workouts a week. So like every hour single long? day but some days i do two a days uh um, no, you just get one massage like at least an hour get a massage and you'll be good i don't know man. is that how that works my i don't <laughs> think so i got a massage told, the other week the story of the podcast like or have you just told on the podcast yet about like what happened to you and masseuse what happened to that me you got like a hand job you've told it before i told that i tell think i've again. told that on stream tell it again right now yeah, you didn't tell that here. Well, it's happened like a few times. So I don't even remember. <laughs> I don't even remember this story. I feel like there was a story I had that was like funny. It was hilarious, but I don't really remember when how he it got, went. When I he said got it out? on stream one time. Yeah, the one when he got out of rehab. It was right when I got out. Yeah. Fuck. How did that? I don't Dude, really remember how it went. <laughs> I know how it's like. I know how it goes, but I'd rather you tell it. <laughs> <laughs> Here, isn't it? Yeah, nah, it dude. is. It is fucking hot. Super here, right? fucking hot. Yes, it's not that hot. I'm in a hoodie as well. Oh, I thought it was. I thought it was hot. I'm here. glad you joined the blanket gang. Yeah, I gave him. That, but I brought. I brought this over here specifically for the flycast. This uh, this sweatshirt. So I why gave, is it? Why do you guys have the blankets? Just a new vibe. Because just being able to lay here. Nick was like, Nick was getting anxious about being on podcasts, and so that's why we like. How anxious are you? It's pretty bad. I, f I feel like I just saw, I just watched you like live have like an anxious breakdown. I mean, Once it was realized, anxious. Like, what you were saying it was more so like, uh, you weren't meaning what you were saying. And I could tell you knew that. And you were like, fucking choke. No, I was, I mean, I didn't lie about anything. I know, but I feel like you were like, you were just like, no, nah, it was more so like, like I don't think this is a good look to be talking about, but I don't yeah, care. It's not. But. Yeah, I mean, this whole podcast could get cut. Who knows? I'm like, is this good yeah. for the brand? We'll just like, see. We'll see what Matt says. I mean, keep really. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> Everyone it, gets it should be, But if it was on your channel, this would go up. <laughs> for oh, yeah. sure. But well, now I've, it's on I've, I've told stories on stream, too. Yeah. Yeah, so so have I. That's crazy, dog. I feel like, I feel like your life. I'll take you there, man. Your life, like, the, since you got out of rehab, has still been a movie. Like it you've, has. You've, your past couple years, life's pretty like fucking You've heard the story when nah, he got jumped. No, 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 no. Yeah, 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 but like, because uh, like the way he described it to me was like, he was thinking that four, like he beat up four guys, and then he like thought about I it did afterwards. Not fucking think that. that. Are you, are, you don't remember the tweet you posted? Do you do you remember the tweet he posted? I don't remember the tweet. It was up for like two minutes. Yeah. You, you tweeted know what that? Said? You tweeted about it? Uh -huh. No. 
It was so I funny. I t- it was it was some like feeling yourself shit. You're like trying to jump me. I don't give a fuck. With like a picture. I did not I say swear. that, bro. It wasn't that, but that I was didn't. the vibe. You, Nick, that was the vibe you were giving. Dude, Dude, most, I did like, not say that. You were feeling yourself. Like you were like cocky. Like I, I was like, damn, what the fuck? He just like one v. You were like, I just one v four. You said one v four. You said that in the tweet. That's why I, I was think like, I said I one v four. Yeah, like you said. Yeah, you said you one v four. But I think it was only two people. Exactly. That's that's what I'm saying. But yeah, so my yeah. adrenaline was going. I had yeah. like bloody knuckles. And I thought shit. he legit fought four so people cool. at first. I was still streaming. I'm like immediately into my stream and called him. But like, when I talked to him, I he I was can't... like, I think it was only two, and they were kind of <laughs> pussies. But like at the time, you were like, you know what I'm saying? You just like finished a, a I still fight. I don't even know what the fuck they look like. That's kind of crazy. Yeah. I wonder if they appear in your dreams. Did you like go there with it as like normal people? I don't think I got to see their face. I went there with like Hilton and friends. Oh, okay, well, how, how, but how they come, left how come you because I was oh, talking yeah. to this girl. Uh, yeah, that's how. That's stay. always how it happens. She like you're staying. I would never stay. And then just that whole time I'm there, someone just eyeing me down, mm-hmm. like waiting for your friends to leave. Mm-hmm. J- or, yeah, like literally yeah. waiting for your friends to that's leave. That's what happened to me in Vegas. I went there with a bunch of people, and then they all left, and somehow I stayed. It's scary. And woke up in a bush. You woke up in a bush. Yeah. So you've told this right before, obviously, and he's probably heard it. I've heard it. I don't remember, it? remember exactly how it Long went, story but short, I do know bush and hospital. Went to a strip club, stayed too late, woke up in a bush. And Did you black out? Got an eye. Yes. It's scary. The last thing I remember is I had a glass to my lips, and they were pushing it. One was holding my head. Wait, you back. had glass to your lips? Yeah, like a glass with straight oh. straight tequila in it. And one was tipping the glass back, and the other was tipping my head back. And that's the last thing I remember. Obviously, they're pros. Sounds really scary. They've done it many times. Oh, yeah, it's terrifying. It's probably every oh, wait, night. They definitely you, like did changed. Did you get money stolen? What? Did you get money stolen? Uh, in a way. Basically, I ran my card, and it went through, and then they... I kept, kept running, running it. it, but yeah, I don't remember ever way. running it, mm. except for the first time. Mm. So, yeah. So I guess that happens. I feel like you're both like. Idiots. Oh, but after that, after my one, I was good. That would never happen to me. Yeah, I feel like it wouldn't. I just feel like that I would feel never like I've never me. even seen you like. I'm never ever presented in situations. I've, I've never done. I've seen Matt party one room. time, once. And oh, it I was, used to party with Nick. We used to party actually kind of like every. Yeah, night. I've seen you drunk, but I've never seen you like. I've seen you like happy drunk, <laughs> but then it's just like food, sleep. Yeah. Like I've never seen you like on the bathroom floor yeah, puking I'm not an or idiot. something. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not trying I've to drink to like good... get blacked out. I drink until I'm drunk. Yeah. And then I stay That's drunk smart. and then I stop when I'm drunk. I don't like, you know what I'm saying? Do you never blacked out? No. Nah. That's good. Anytime I was close to like throwing up, I would make myself throw up in high school. Like I would be like. I don't know about that. I can say I was drinking in high school, right? Yeah. Nothing can happen now. No, like, they, high school parties, gonna, if I, if I ever felt like I was going to throw up, I would just go out real fa- like real fast by myself and just like make myself throw up and I'd come back vibey as fuck, ready to drink again. That's wild. I can, I'm not Especially a puker in it. I actually kind of liked it. I never drank in high school. You liked puking? I liked the puking towards the end of it. I, yes, I you wish liked I could I liked it, yeah, because I was like... It fucking feel so much better. It would make better. me look so cool because I would, I would drink so much off the rip too and then I would go back and drink more and they don't know I puked. Only like my boys did. As I'm like, oh my god, yeah, 12 shots of Xerox. It's like, no. I just puked 12 up 6 shots, shots in high school? No, like I'm saying, like I separated that into the 6 and 6, but... You know what I'm saying? 6 wild. and then throw up, or like 5 beers and throw <laughs> up, and then 5 more beers, you look like you can drink a lot. I was like so sheltered as a kid, I forget that people partied in high school. Oh, was partying that... in high school in SoCal was fucking, it was wild. It was, uh, actually so, it was it's exactly as fun as it sounds in your head. Yeah. It was so fun. It's just euphoria. It was like, it's just like you know. It's just like the fact. The fact it's you, not like you got to gather money. You show up to an address. You show up to an address get, and everyone just has money to and, get. And like your your thought already is like this could be a crazy house. It's in Coto. Like Coto de Casa is like a community that has a bunch of big houses. Pretty much where everyone, one of my friends lived. You're like you're going to Coto for the party and you're driving deep. Like this place is big and you're just going to like some random street and you pull up to the house and it stops and a bunch of cars. You hear music and you're like this house is fucking gigantic. And it has a crazy cool vibe about it. And you're like, wow, this is going to be a night to remember. This is going to be dope. Every party there was a mansion party? Almost, yeah. Because, I mean, like, why would you not have it in a mansion, you know? Like, Bro. everyone, everyone. In, like, so why would I go to a two-story house? No, because mm-hmm. like, like, a friend group, like, you're going to be like, yo, you should throw parties more. And then eventually they're going to become the party person because their house is way more fun than anywhere else. I've yeah. been in the, when I was growing up, I was in the sketchiest places. Like, trailers, fucking, like, one bedroom 
apartments, in houses. See, I never show up to like an apartment. So apartment, wild uh, to me, ever. But that's just how did y'all find then, houses? I didn't think of it like that. Yeah. You Wait, so are, are yeah. these are these yeah. parties yeah. where like, like I thought it was cool? Yeah. Are these parties where like the parents are home or like the parents are some gone? of them? The parents are just home. Yeah, there's a, yeah, some there's of a party. Surprised, bro. Really? Like a lot of my friends' parents had the same rule where like when you showed up to the like you show up to the house at like five six p.m. you give them your car keys. And they would take all the car keys into a basket and then put it somewhere where no one could even get like, get to them. Huh. If the cops come, then like you crash there. And if the cops come, they like usually the people that were doing that also had a really good like way with the cops already. Right. Like, you know what I'm saying? They know what the fuck they're doing when they answer the door. Like they're like, "Sorry, Jim." You know, like they know each other. Like, okay. Shit. That makes more There's, sense. There's like parents like taking shots with the kids. Like, and I'm just like, what? I don't think anything ever at the time, but thinking back on it now, I'm like, God damn. Like, you're playing beer pong with someone else's, like, dad. What? That is fucking wild. And I'm dapping him up and shit. I'm like, good fucking shot. Like, you know, it's just like, you're just like, where am I? Yeah. You know? You wouldn't do that with your kids and their friends? Fuck no. Yeah, no. I mean, honestly, like, I feel like I would be, I wouldn't want to, like, hang out with them. I feel like. But it's like their house, though. So it's almost like they're showing off their house. Like, you know what I'm saying? Because, like, a parent, parent, no matter what's going to be proud of their house. And if, if, like, it's like they're showing, showing off their house for, like, a bunch of mini kids, like, a bunch of kids, but, like, they're still, but, they can still oh, tip nah. it. They can still tip. They're like, this is this is a crazy house. They overhear that. Yeah. They're like, you like it? But I feel like they're that wouldn't. That tipping. Yeah, you know, know what I'm saying? That just wouldn't feel good like, coming Yo, from Mr. a Johnson, 16, you're so cool. 17. You're so cool. Like, you can drink so much. Oh, my God. You know? I, I, would, I feel like if a kid told me that, I'd feel like a fucking loser. Yeah. I mean, yeah, we would. But these people are kind of cringe. Like, a lot of these parents they are pretty crazy. Cringe. These parents were like cringe, like probably divorced but still living in the same house like all of my friends parents where i grew up were divorced like almost all of them but they live in the same house that yeah that was the case for a lot of them the, huh. the dad would sleep on the couch right kind of thing and i'm just like i just didn't think it was that bad but like yeah orange county is horrible for like marriage rate i bet it's probably like yeah the success rate's probably like i don't know 30 percent 20 percent my parents are still together which is great i love that for them but, cool. um, is marriage dying I don't know. I feel like all the numbers decreased. I don't know. I think our generation is definitely having kids later. I feel yeah, Fuck yeah. Like, yeah. I, like like I think my for parents, sure actually yeah like the last generation like so many of like our generation's parents were like twenty two to twenty six when they had us because I feel like there was like I don't know I feel like back then like having a kid like having a kid and getting married was kind of like the goal in life. Nowadays, it feels like you can do anything you want. Yeah. Nowadays, it feels like you can go make Teslas if you want. Yeah. Right. You know, like it's, it's, there like it's, weren't many options. There's not many options there. Back like then. there's no there's no connectivity. So you have all you all your whole world is just like your, your immediate community. Yeah. You know honestly, if there wasn't yeah. social media, that's probably probably the same way now. That was probably like the biggest deal about it. Hundred percent. Like now, there's social media, so it's like there's so much temptation or it's like, I don't really want to get married. Like there's so much fantasies being put in front yeah, of you that, you that you want for yourself. Literally it's like fantasies that aren't going to happen. So you're like delaying the life you probably should have right. for like this fantasy you think that like, you want. I'm in my twenties. I need to, I need to live my twenty. What the fuck does live my twenties mean? Like there's no rule book that says like you need to go to Miami. No, your this best years time, are your you early thirties. Yeah. Like, you know what I'm saying? It's like, is what I tell myself. It's like, I feel like everyone's life is different. And like, there's a time for partying and there's a time to like, also not party you know like not right now in my life like i shouldn't i should not be partying you know like there's yeah. just no reason i should be partying it's like, funny because like if i party now i'm going to the party depending on i'm not going there to party like you know what i mean like if there's a party and it's a party at an event and i know there's these people that are going to be there yeah mm. like then i'll go i'm not going for the event i'm going for the people right exactly like i'll, no, go, for I'll sure. go to see people if, if i don't see them that often or if it's like a good opportunity i'll have to make sure there's like at least six people i know that i fuck with that are going somewhere before i yeah, yeah, yeah. i feel like four for like four months like a couple months ago i was like trying to party you just wanted to party it was like you maybe a random day still, during the week not in like the uh-huh. last month. Uh, I've maybe, yeah, like, maybe not this last month. I, I feel like I like, like got no. I just like. I mean, even after that, I still like. I feel like I haven't talked to you this whole like last month, maybe two <laughs> months, bro. Do you feel that way as well? Uh, I've been. Yeah, it's because our I've, schedules, I've been, our been schedules have been anything. super different. I feel like I haven't seen you at all. Like I'm like, my life in the past like month or two has just been literally working out. I'll stream. I'll go home, and it's like I'm not even awake yet. I've been like cleaning cooking all the like i cook all my meals now which is like fucking insane will you cook me something after this podcast i mean i have food yeah you should cook me something like i can microwave it for you i mean it's not that good no that's fine but yeah i got you i just don't want to order chick-fil-a it's crazy like the last like i never cook like that and like the last like month or two i've been cooking non-stop what's like the like most extreme or most like difficult thing you've cooked 
Uh, nothing really. I mean, I'm, like, are you even cooking? Or are you just microwaving shit? No, I'm like cooking, but it'll be like, I'll put like salmon on a pan and just cook it like. I don't really remember like five or six minutes each side. Mm -hmm. So it's like simple shit. It's and not you like, put, like ready rice. Like, in have microwave. you seen like the dinners Fwiz makes? Yeah. Where it'll be like pretty, pretty extravagant. Yeah. Like it's nothing like that. Well Mine'll out. be ground turkey, mm. like broccoli I put in the Your plate looks stove. like shit, but it's actually healthy kind of. Yeah, it's super it's like, healthy. Well, you, you just want like, it's the like healthy. Super healthy. You don't give a fuck about presentation. Like, yeah, no. You're not showing it to nobody. Yeah, no. But yeah. Because I feel like Fwiz puts extra time in because he knows he's going to post a picture of it. Like 100%. Yeah. So. But his meals look delicious. My God. Yeah, mine don't. I'm like Timmy's like an absolute Mine are chop. so plain and average. <clears throat> and I haven't like gone out at all. Really? I saw you crushing it the stream on your, or this weekend on your stream. Tell me what? Crushing it. Oh, uh, yeah. I like tuned in. You For the like, watch party. Yeah, like 5K viewers. Yeah. Something People like love that. watch parties, bro. Watch, parties, watch parties are a wave. Especially if fucking optics actually good and like competing for first. Yeah. <laughs> yeah so it's so crazy that, like dude i think of is there a certain place you think of from the weekend hey, you, you want to break it down to you let me, let me put it this uh, way we're talking about i want to know what place let, me, let, me put this, or... let me put it this way we needed one set of kills on streets to go to the finals like we were we were that we were actually that close and like i'd even argue that we just steamroll whoever we play in the finals at that point because we would at that point we'd have lost two maps going into the final and one against the send of 5049 and then a slayer against um sen but that we were flawless like we were playing pretty much how we want to play we weren't we weren't even playing up to like our expectations for ourselves we knew that we were playing like a little bit off like or not like a little bit off but like it just wasn't perfect you'd see glimpses of it right like in pool play you'd see like um like a slayer against phase or like the uh, the ctf against complexity or the whole series against complexity we actually were playing like, exactly like, perfect bro i saw you, you d-bag saw in monster yeah, I, I did that for you, no cap. I was like, I know Nick's watching this shit. <laughs> bro, I, was, I saw you kill Monster, yeah. and I like... And it was such a I ferocious teabag. It was, it was such coming. a matchmaking teabag. Yeah. I like, had OS up 4-0 in the flag, up 2-0 in the series. I'm yeah. like, you're fucked. Yeah. <laughs> and just knowing he's so mad about it. Um, nah, but but like there were there were certain games we would feel like where it's like exactly how we scrim it. And it's like we put people in a blender, and it's like they can't get out of it for the whole game. We were playing great. Um... The Sen series was going well. We won the strongholds like pretty convincingly. We lost the Slayer. They actually played like really well in the Slayer. We they were like baiting their teammate in like your fridge, and they would make you like oh we to go kill him. Mm -hmm. And uh, obviously we made the mistake of pushing that guy over and over again, which I, I disagree with. I thought we should have got the shock nades first if we were gonna do that because it made the whole push a lot easier, right? You throw in pink one, throw in pink fridge, and then you mm -hmm. go push them. They're both one shot. Like, <clears throat> but so they won the Slayer, or whatever. But then we, we bounced back and won the CTF Bazaar, and it was like a grueler of a Bazaar. And like that's like as like right then and there the series is pretty much over. Mm -hmm. Like I could tell in the game four they were kind of checked. Like I went on I started off like with a killing spree in game four. I'm like yeah these guys are giving it to us. Like I've been to a lot of finals before. I know what it's like when a team is scamming the winners finals. Like every tournament I used to win there would be a lot of tournaments too where like the person I'm expecting to play in winners finals loses. So like C9 would lose just like how Phase would lose back in the day and I played denial instead. You know where I was like damn that's kind of like a bullet dodge there. But I'm like damn C9's not. I'm like is this tournament ours like. Sen, I did not think Sen was that good, you know? And, like, they came to play on Sunday, that's for sure. But like, even in throughout the weekend, they were, like, game five with Pittsburgh Knights. Mm -hmm. Like, you know, they didn't look that great. Um, so I thought it was our tournament to win. And then, like like I said, the game four, it's going our way, going our way. We're obviously not even playing perfect. I could feel like we're a little, little like, kill whore-ish type thing going on. But it was still enough to, like, go, like win around. And then, like, it came down to that one set of kills, like I said, Um when APG dropped the oddball at the end, and but, it was yeah, like, you but guys it wasn't just, really on Brad. Like, no, it's not. Everyone, do you know how many people were trying to put it I on know. Brad? I, I realized afterwards how many people were trying to put it on uh, Brad, and it actually was not Brad's fault I was at like, all. Dude, you're, you guys are idiots. Dude, yeah, like so it's just dumb. like, As well, if, what I think we should have done in hindsight is just throw the ball fronts up, and then we all four go for a kill. Yeah. We all just keep them off the ball, yeah. right? which like they'd have to go for it, and like we could all just take an angle and hold it, but we just called to hold it. And then when they came close, we dropped it and tried to kill them. But that wasn't the right play at that point. Because then it's like, if we die, we lose. Yeah. And yeah, it was, it was just whatever. And then the game five, game five. But so then like, I was like, whatever, <clears throat> that's fine. I was still kind of locked. I got checked when like, and I, I don't check easily, dude. I got checked when first time I got checked out was when we were up 7-3 in the start of the game five. We we're up 7-3. I have camo sword. I go, I go grapple. I jump battle Real two is just like strafing the door. I'm like, this is so stupid. Why are you doing this? This is so dumb. And I go for the, I go for the sword lunge. I'm like, right about to kill him. He no scopes me in the head. And I was like, thinking to myself, like, 
Okay, hold on. I've never died like that, not once it's before. Such a royal too. It's, it was play, just like though. such a like it, it was god it was godlike. It was like the kill of the tournament. It probably won them the tournament with, off that it shot did. alone. Um but I was like, God, that was so faded of him. What if he misses? Then I just kill him and PJ right below him. And then I we're, we're up nine three with all the weapons and everything, and we probably steamroll them after that. You know? But instead, like, I'm like, dude, what the fuck? And then like I, then I push long haul like four different times and I get I get someone red bar four different times. And at that point I was fucking checked. I was like own eight. It sort of I could feel that too. One time I go long home, like let me just get my first kill. I beat down and stick him. I'm like, die, you motherfucker. <laughs> I stick him too. APG kills him like in front of me. I get another yeah. assist. I'm like, dude. Yeah. You know, I'm like, what the fuck? Yeah. Now I'm like own nine. Yeah. I'm like, what is going on? So I was extremely checked from that point on. Yeah. Like, and I, I should have done a much better job of being a leader about it, but like Ah, oh, dude, it was just like, I was just remember thinking like, we're down 10. I'm like, dude, this shouldn't have never like, like, this is so stupid. I can't believe that he hit that shot. It was so stupid. Yeah. Literally the, that play is, was such a Royal two play because I always, I feel like he, every tournament they win, like he pulls out some kind of play like that. Yeah. Like just some play that no one else would fucking no hit one would besides think it. Yeah, Royal like, too. Yeah, go for it and he actually hits but it. whenever I saw I saw you had camo sword and I saw you like I, I was thinking pull the sword out pull the, pull the sword out so like when you get near them they don't hear you pulling the sword out yeah I didn't even know that they can hear you pull the sword out uh, I'm assuming they do. No, they do. I didn't know until afterwards but yeah like you jump there and then he's on bad ledge kind of and then you pull that, the sword but... out and then I'm like, oh shit! And then he no scopes. No, I'm I like, know you. I know no. you can hear I'm like, pull- that's the biggest. I know fucking- you can. No, listen. I know you can hear someone pull a sword out if they're like next to you. Yeah. But if they have camo, camo? I didn't. I didn't think that you uh. could if I have camo. You know, but I guess you can. But yeah, that, I mean, either way, that was just like. I mean, I guess I'll tip it now. But I was like, that was like the tournament right there. But like yeah. to me, to me, like the tournament was like the game four. Like the game four, they were giving it to us. Like mm. so, on top of on top of me already thinking before the map five, like. Damn, we could have like easily been in the finals. Whatever, it's fine. We can lose map five, and then I get sniped like that, and then I get the guy red bar four times long, and I'm like, dude, this is so fucking annoying. And then like, yeah, and then of course the game ends with like we're all two sorting everybody, and like of course, right? Because it's like fate's way of like rubbing it in my face. Like go to losers finals. Oh yeah, it's C nine by the way. There's three United. I'm just like, I right, bet. Oh what? I can't. I can't go talk to my boys. I gotta accept some presentation. Okay, fine. I'm happy to accept that it. Was, but uh, yeah. it was another checkout. Yeah. And then we go into the series, and I'm just like, oh my god, I'm so fucking checked. We just moved all our shit to their side. We don't get a warm up. I'm like, whatever. It's fine go in we just like lose game one it's like lose game two in the really fucking aids way but like at that point we were so checked like i could just tell and like i don't know it, it, we just like we just had an opportunity we definitely had the chance to go to the finals and like we just like th- fucked it off and i feel like we. Just i feel like someone must that. have fucked up on that streets oddball because we all we all did we all brad did. like dropped the oddball and then was like he was unsure try. everybody was unsure of the player yeah the everyone time. was sort of unsure but it's like then it was like okay we just need to drop the ball let time run out but like we'll drop it they're forced to push to us so Dude, it's like we I, should have a better and i felt like someone must have fucked up and like been overextended and just like died randomly and then it was like no i mean that, yeah that happened twice but we still could have made that work though. Like I remember thinking, like I pushed up driveway and ended up fighting two people, and like I was like, "Fuck, I'm dead." But I three uh, snake bite with a stalker, and I get a perfect right. And I'm like, "Oh my god, that's just." I'm like, "There's no way we lose this." Like that's just such like a fake kill. I was like, "There's no reality where I actually kill him there when they were both BRing me." And I just like three him real quick. You know what I'm saying? Usually I would just get him red or like absolutely be, like two driveway, two driveway, it? and then like, but then like one jumps up to commando, he goes in. So then, like this is like the very last push, and then like so it's a three v three. I don't really know what happened, so I sit on my death cam the whole time. And then like, yeah, the, I don't know. Then the game just ended, and then Matt Five started, and it felt. And then Matt Five started. We were fine still. Like I said, we're up seven three. Mm. Like we just got the camo. Oh, another thing that checked me out too, dude. When I grabbed the camo, um, I've never had this happen before in Infinite. Okay, so when I go for the camo, right, I grab it, I pop it, I pick up a sword, I pop the camo, and I'm looking at the bottom right of my screen. I'm like, and I'm not invisible yet, but I, but my guy did the thing where he fucking like whatever. Mm. It makes like a noise, but it's not the noise you pop when you make camo. I don't know what noise that was. It sounded like I picked up a repulsor. That's what it sounded like when I popped it. And I was like, that's not right. My guy wasn't going invisible. So then I walk over back to the repulsor and I'm like, dude, what the fuck? I'm not going invisible. But it, it shows that I have the camo thing, but it's like grayed out. And I'm like, am I invisible or not? <laughs> really? <laughs> swear to God. Fuck? Swear to God. And and then I get the repulsor and I walk up and I jump to grapple. Then I get no scoped. And then I was, that's like, it just checked the fuck out of me. I was yeah. like, dude, what the fuck is going on? Like, I was like, does anyone else not know, like, what's going, like, what is this? Oh, yeah. You know, like, I, I don't know. It was, just, it, it was just a huge checkout. Was it a visual glitch on your end? It was a visual glitch on everyone. Was, Ow, I don't know. I keep on my tongue. Um, 
I don't know still. You don't know? I watched it back. I couldn't I couldn't really tell if the casters could tell either. It was just like on I my screen. I, was, I told my teammates in the game, I said, yo, my camo's like not popping. I feel like that's happened to me before though, where I pop camo and it's like, I'm not invisible. Yeah, and then it, and then it ran me to show me invisible and yeah. I was like, okay. And I grabbed the sword and I go grapple, jump up and get no scoped. Uh, yeah. It's safe to say I was checked after that. Yeah, I was checked watching after that. I was that. super checked. And, uh, just the fact that I saw it was Royal 2 as well. I was like, God, that's such a Royal 2 play. Do you remember that, that when you were scrimming in Halo 5 and Frosty like no scoped you and you literally go to leave the game? Do you remember that? Um, <laughs> Frosty jumps out. You're shooting him in the back. He, <laughs> he whips around and you die. Because he had snipe, and you immediately hit start, and you go and you press up to go quit the game. But I don't quit it. But right? you don't quit because uh, yeah, yeah. Brad started gassing Frosty. Yeah. Because you were teaming with Brad at that, that time. That happened. In, yeah. World <laughs> two killed me in a way where I just fucking rage. It hit me with some crazy strafe. Oh, on Halo Five. Halo Five heavy aim. I'm just fucking on Coliseum. I, I'm just having though every time I'm like going to sh- like shoot slightly to the right or something. He's it was just like the worst timing. And he just shit on me. But like at tournaments, bro, Royal Two made that play when I was on Noble Black and we were we tied like four game fives in a row. Like Royal Two saved them by like hitting a snipe while Arcanum is shooting him and just like quick scopes him. And fucking then they tie the game and we gotta go into another overtime, then we lose. And it's it's just like a ridiculous shot. Yeah. It's just so fucking yeah, Royal Two's just such a He's, he he's, makes big plays, bro. Yeah, he's uh, he he, he has plays. fucking ice. Yeah, he makes big plays, bro. Yeah. Uh, uh, I never like. Everyone sort of thought Sentinels was like sort of becoming washed. No, nah, dude. It's or just, not washed, it just but it's sucks just because like I know that I know that we were the best team there. Yeah. I feel like we were the most prepared team there, and like if we play the tournament a hundred times in a row, we probably win the majority of them. Yeah. But. I mean, I, was, I talk about this all the time. It's just like it all depends on who plays better for 45 minutes. It all, play, it all depends on who played better in that match in that game four for that one set of kills. And that determined like the rest of like the series outcome and pretty much doomed our fate without us even knowing it. Because mm. up until that point, we were good shit. Let's go. Up to one of the winner finals. Like, you it know, felt like a tournament win. It felt like a normal win. I was like, yeah, we're just going to 3 1 here and just go on and win in the finals and see these guys battle it out and we're just going to probably stomp wherever we play. Yeah. You know how your stats can be bad, but like, you know if you're playing well or not, yeah. regardless of your stats. Sure. You feel like you were playing good? No. Yeah. Towards the end of it, I don't really count anything after the game four versus Sun, though. Because, like, like I said, so checked. I really was. And, like, I, I hate, like, trying to, like, for those of you at home that, like, are thinking, like, it's just an excuse, like, I'm just being honest. It's like, it's like, Am I mad that we lost? Yeah, of course. But like, I'm. I really. I was like happy that like with how hard we were going in practice every day. Like we were putting in a lot of effort for this tournament. It just sucks that we have to wait until Orlando to like prove ourselves again. Yeah, like I, I know that this months. team can win. Like, and I'm sure I know that all the pros think that too. Like, I'm telling you what the pros. Like, this is just the talks amongst the pros. Like, everyone. A lot of people thought we were going to win that. Like the pros. I'm saying, and like even at like the pre land, and then like all the pool play, and then the first round. Like you know, what I'm saying we were playing fine. We were doing our shit. We were playing just how we do online. We were beating everyone like that we should have. We should have beat Sen 3-1. And we shouldn't have even gone through the series versus United. And we shouldn't have gone through the game five versus like it was just that was that was our fuck up though, right? It was like we should have just closed it out and we wouldn't be having this conversation at all. We should have just played better and we should have been more clutch and we should have done this, but it's it's just sucks that like like this is the timeline that we got. There's another timeline, we're just going to win the tournament. We just follow whoever we play in the final. Well, in the same way that someone can get checked, it's like <coughs> That's also like, locking Royal 2 for the rest of the map, too, by the way. You know, scope the fucking sword guy? You're locked for that whole fucking yeah, map. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, the same way someone ways. could get checked is the same way someone's, like, not checked now he's at on all. Fi- now he's on now fire. He's on fire. Now he's on fire. Now he's on fire. And it's like, shit just starts going your way. Yeah. And it's like, you, you're on the opposite end to where it's like something complete, a big play completely doesn't exactly. go your way. And then, like, something else doesn't go your way. I always talk about it. And it like, just fucking. There's one BR fight, like, per map. Like, I feel like the whole lobby feels it. Whether it be to, like, secure a B stronghold and it's like everyone's dead it's a 1v1 or it's like just a really important fight maybe on like an island and it's like oh I got the guy in sub you know it's like whatever it's like there's like a BR fight per map that everyone kind of feels and it like yeah. shifts the tides yeah. and it usually ends with the team like winning that map yeah. you know cause like it's like you know, momentum is so like like tournaments momentum are like 80% mental like a, bro uh, yeah. like we were really prepared for this tournament but like I don't know we, we had a really good talk after the tournament though about some things like that I, I like thought needed to be addressed um, and I think that we'll be stronger from it. It just sucks that like we had to, I, I didn't think that we had many problems to begin with, right? Cause we're stomping everyone in scrims. We went in the tournament, like we weren't really running into any obstacles. So 
I didn't feel like I had to be a hard ass or anything. You know, I was like kind of like, eh, I'll let a lot of these things slide, whether it be like just like subtle things or little yeah. things. You're or still like, winning by like 80 points in a strong Right. So I'm so like, yeah, it's like, not that bad. I don't really need to bring exactly. this up. Exactly. Exactly. So, but yeah, I don't know. And I, don't, I feel like they needed to know like, this isn't the only tournament. This was just like the first, mm. you know, like this isn't like, you know what I'm saying? This is like, realistically, like champs is the only thing that matters this year. Right. So I just want to win with them before that, just to like kind of get them in that like groove of winning already, you know, mm. cause like there has to be some sort of mental block there a little bit like at tournaments and, yeah. and like, it's probably hard to break through. And like, I feel like we were, we were so close, dude. Like we were like so close. Like I'm telling you, our vibes were like, we were going to like win this shit. Like we were playing great. We all had one goal. It's just like a couple fuck ups here and there. Yeah. Turns it into like a third place. It was all going great. And then we just lost five maps straight and bounced into the tournament. And it, in it 45 minutes. Wild, yeah. And it's it like, like hurts more because it's literally what, four months to another. Yeah. Land. That's what I'm saying. It's like, it sucks, man. But yeah. I mean, what can you do? What can you do? Ooh. But everyone's I like. just clutched. You say you could have just clutched? I could have just clutched it. Yeah, I could have just clutched. And we, yeah. were this, we were talking about you guys be tipping me right now. Yeah. Like, I should have just clutched. Yeah. It's kind of nuts. I need to remember in those moments. Like, I, I just need to make sure I just do, like, my shit. Because I, I used to feel like I was, like, when I was winning tournaments a lot, that, like, the last push of a team is all, it always looks very lackadaisical and, like, sloppy and they're kind of just desperating. I'm really good at getting those kills whenever they're desperate. Like, mm -hmm. I'll kill the first kid, like, right away. But, like, I just, like, didn't think about it like that because I haven't been, like, in a position to really go to a grand finals like this. Like, I haven't really been in this good of a position in a long time yeah. where I feel like I'm, like, the favorite to win. So Like, even in COD for a while, right? Even in COD, yeah. Uh, like, so I just kind of forgot that, like, the last push is going to look that desperate. And that's, like, something I could have reminded my team of before the final push, you know? And it's, like, when you hear that, it's, like, it feels like you're about to four-dead them, you know? Yeah. They're about to desperate. They're about to desperate. Like, everyone chill. Like, you know what I'm saying? Just get a kill. We win. Get a kill. We win. But it's like, I didn't say that, so. Whatever. Well. That's our 2020. Better, ha better it happened now. Than... Yeah, but I'm so sick of hearing that, though. Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like, I was going to say. I hate that Remember song. how Shotzi and I hate that Dallas song. started off? But then they win. I just hate that song. But, yeah. So I've heard it too many times now. Yeah. Like yeah. every tournament, Especially every tournament's optic. a tournament at the end of the day. Like people are going hard at the fucking tournament, whether yeah. it's champs or not, whether it's champs or a normal event. Like I always hate how people are like, do champs people turn up? Like, and I'm someone who is notoriously known for turning with champs. I still think it's stupid. Yeah. Like I'm like, it's just a tournament. And like, I look better because other people are breaking. Sure. But it's just a tournament. I'm going just as hard as the other tournaments. Like, what was your, uh, what was your talk with the, with the team afterwards? Like, were you just... Nothing like super specific, but were you guys like, like not just, like, were you saying like that was on me kind of? I mean, kind of, I mean, like I was talking for like an hour yeah. and they were all just three, just kind of listening, but I wasn't really like, I wasn't like yelling at anyone. I was kind of just saying like, I'm kind of reminding them like, like I'm here to, I'm here to, to like, no I'm, one played bad. No, I know. I'm saying, like, I just want to like, I wanted to remind them like of just certain things that it takes to like win, um, whether that be to do with comms or like whatever. And I'm like telling them like if you guys have any questions like don't be afraid to ask me like i'm here to help you you know like i'm trying to i'm trying to ascend you to the next level i want you guys to like be like i want you guys to ask me something that i might have thought before i won a tournament you know it might sound kind of like cringe but like i'm not going to think of it as cringe i'm gonna give you i'm gonna be like oh yeah well, i should think that shit too nah dude you're good like you know what i'm saying mm. whether whatever whatever it may be like i'm here to help and i don't know i feel like if i <clears throat> i feel like if i if i were just like more I'm just too vibey, like, to be honest. I'm just too vibey, and I try to make sure I'm vibey every time. So, like, whenever there's a problem, I kind of just, like, sweep it under the rug and think, like, it's not that big of a deal, you know? Is it different, like, joining a team that already existed rather than, like, yeah, coming up in sure. COD where, like, y'all were together for so long? Yeah. I mean, like, I, I was trying to fit into their system, but they didn't... No, nah, they were they were, they were were really, like... When I first joined the team, they were kind of like, let's not even go over shit that we do. Let's just play and see how it goes. Mm -hmm. And, like, that was kind of how our gameplay formed at the start. And it's been, like, our foundation, which is good. Um, I still think we're a gross team. It's just like, it just sucks that we have to wait so long. Yeah. yeah, yeah, that's that's ridiculous. I mean, Sen came to play on Sunday though. Don't get me wrong, Sen was fucking frying. Yeah, I ain't gonna lie. Like at first, like I'm thinking of the best team, C9 Optic, and then I was like C9 and Optic, and I would like put you guys up here, but then I'd be like Sentinels, United. Mm -hmm. 
But then I was like, I don't know, man. Like, Cause because like, it, mental, I'm like bro. talking to my chat and shit and like no one's saying Sentinels. Bro, send send one off pure vibes. Yeah. Like, but send, I'm like, these guys have been together for like six years. Send just got to the final They're by being C9 and Optic on the way there. They're yeah. dumb gassed. Yeah. That, it's no wonder they 4 0 in the final. You know? Like, because that's how mental it actually is at yeah. tournaments. Does Sen think that they were the most prepared team at the Sen tournament? Sen don't think Fuck they're no. going to 4 0 C9 as Fuck well. Fuck no. Did they, I don't even think they thought they were going to beat us. Like, yeah. I'm telling you, Sen was giving us the win on the game four. They were making a lot of mistakes. We just made a lot too. We could have easily cleaned it up and, and won like 2 0 round count. We shouldn't even gone to a third round. Yeah. They were scamming a lot. I'm like, I'm like going fucking shotgun spawn and then he's standing on Jen, jumping up and down, shooting. And, my, and the ball guy's like in sub. I'm like, what are you doing? Yeah. You know? Like, what are you doing here? Like shit like that, like all happening around the map. Just and like, it's also like when someone's winning, 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 and then they finally start losing, it's like they start sort of consistently losing. Like it is sort of like a mental thing. Oh, dude, like we got bounced. Like how often do you see someone get dropped out from winners and get 3 0 by a team that's on fire and losers? Because you're playing a team that just 3 0 to United rather than getting a, like a series like stolen from them yeah. and they should be in finals. Like that's what they're thinking. It's like do hard to bounce get, back. Was it 3 0 against C9 and losers? Yeah, 3 0. Yeah. And we completely trolled the game too, and that was like, yeah, like, that was just like the nail in the coffin. There was like zero. Ch- we don't think we. Could, I don't even think we pulled their flag in Bazaar. Didn't you guys beat them in winners? No, we never played them. Send uh, beat them. Uh, somehow. Oh yeah. Yeah, somehow. What was that series? Three one. It looked like C9 was just playing like shit. Yeah. Because we played we played Sen, and it, and it didn't feel like Sen was playing that great either. Like I just thought C9 was just playing like shit too. Like that's what I'm saying. I feel like we were the strongest team there because it felt like we ha- were like. We had the edge to win every series apart from yeah. the C9 one. It's like, I don't even feel like we played C9 how we like play them usually. Like, we were just like fucking like. Did you see Snipe down, Michael, back to Apex? I did see that. Yeah. I, I, saw I, I, think, I think that's like kind of, I think it's very likely. Yeah. I mean, good for him, but that's also a huge hit for Halo. It sucks. Yeah. Somebody dropped the ball there. I, I mean, I never heard Eric speak on it. Like, I talked to him a lot. Like, we talked, we talked a few nights at the event. Yeah. We never really talked about that, though. Like, I don't really know what his thoughts are on that. Yeah. Yeah. I, I just don't think he enjoys. Do you you enjoy playing Halo? Infinite? I do. Yeah, I do. Yeah, I don't think he enjoys it I don't think it he all. enjoys playing Halo right now at all. Do you play matchmaking? To go from, so, to go from such a, a well-oiled game like Apex into a brand new game that. Is that somebody? Yeah. Matt? Oh, it's Matt. Uh, fucking door didn't make any? Just yeah, a key the, fucking. I just heard a key and I was like, oh. To go from like a well-oiled machine like like Apex that's you know has a really well, thriving like thriving built out rank system that's really good it's like the second best it's rank like system the whole, it's, like, it's like the whole game's pole right it's yeah. like the ranking system and then you go to like infinites. a like a beta. Halo Infinite to where there's literally no reason to play besides scram yeah um, yeah it's got to be difficult it's kind of like Remember when, remember when uh, Ninja was playing Halo 5 and H1C1 at the same time? Mm-hmm. And a lot of us were like, why are you even playing Halo still? When you're, mm-hmm. you would, you would get off of scrims of Halo 5 and go play H1 Be for so happy. three times as many viewers. And that's have, what, that's pretty much what Slime Town's doing too. Yeah. That's what I kind of, kind of the vibe I get. I don't even think you stream Halo like that anymore. Yeah. I think you like only streams Apex, which should give you a pretty good idea. Yeah. yeah, I feel like, like at first it's viewership when you would play Halo was really good. It was, but it's yeah. like now it's just no one. And he doesn't have a fun it's time like playing such matchmaking. such a big difference from Apex to Halo. Yeah. And I'm like sure he has a... so much more fun on Apex. Like, yeah. unbe- like it's not even close. Yeah, I don't it's even more think fun. Halo's giving him any dopamine anymore. His, his streams are way better. Yeah. Like it looks it's, like he's, he's having a. He's, he's, every time I click on a stream like that, he's he got like nine hours into his stream. Yeah. He has to be so depressed playing fucking Halo Infinite. Yeah. That's kind of how I feel. Except, I don't know. I don't really enjoy it. I feel like Addy fucking ruined my enjoyment for any games. Yeah. That like, makes sense. I don't fucking... Over time. When's the last time you enjoyed a game? I enjoy Apex. Do you? I've been playing Apex too, and it's actually pretty fun. Yeah. You have been. I saw uh, on like my Steam's friends list, it was like, Form has like something, something hours this past week or like something uh-huh. like that. I was like, ah, oh, he's been grinding. I, I would guess. see like other people would have like 20 hours and I think you were I don't know I, I also I leave remember. it on too yeah. and it counts that what rank are you now diamond I think I'm like I'm not very good I played against predator all these yesterday and I was getting fried I was getting absolutely fried what am I fucking gold something Probably. those were the days bro what the gold the days big. they were so fun were they fun I'm like try. I'll, I'll literally get on maybe like 
once every other day for like two, like three, maybe four games. And my rank is so shit. Everyone's just so shit that I'm like, this, like, is, yeah, fun. this is fun. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it doesn't. Then you play like a three sweaty kids flying. Live you. it up, man. Yeah. You find somebody that tap strafes you around a corner and pumps you in the head. And that's where you guys are at? Yes. That's where I'm at too. Uh, and I'm just don't, I just don't want to go that hard to where I'm like okay how do I fucking beat this you know or like I'm like let me try to stop dying what to this. new mechanic do I have to learn when someone runs at me and they're sweating hard enough I like give them the win I'm like that's how I felt in Fortnite like when people start building I'm just like exactly I'm just like bro I'm not on this game to like fucking do this I'm not building I'm going under your build and just yeah yeah you were grinding Fortnite I was I fucking I was definitely better than you at the time Damn, you're gonna say know. no. You're gonna say no, good. but I actually got really good, and no one know about. No one knew about it except for like a few people. Yeah, because you like disappeared. Yeah, that was good. But I remember. I, I think I looked on like my all time. I killed you a few times in Tilted. And I killed you. I uh, saw in my yeah. In my well, you all, might you might have killed each other actually. Never mind. In my all time like clips, you're like somehow somewhere close to the top, and it's just killing formal and Tilted Towers. I think Would you always land in tilted? I think it's. I think your clip is actually me killing you. I'm not even trolling. No, I watched. Pull up your phone right I now. I have like two or three clips. I know they're there. I know there's one where you're like, "Wait, was that formal?" Probably when I killed you and you were freaking out, and then that, you were like, "Wait, was that formal?" And then you laughed, and then you left. I just casually shit on you in the middle of tilted. Well, I know you've killed me, but I've killed you. You probably have to. Yeah, I landed tilted every game. Should I get a ruler, guys? Huh? Oh, a dick measuring competition? Yeah. Wow. <laughs> What's going where would you here? land? Trump Tower. Nah, I always went to like the side buildings, like the little two story, like the little two story, like concrete buildings that had like just enough loot to where you could go yeah, there, then go to the fucking bottom exactly of the town and start cleaning about. shit out. Little L you go in there with shield and shit. Yeah. Dude, those were the days. 2018 Fortnite. Whenever my life was falling apart, but I could drop tilted. Yeah, those were the days. Dropping tilted made you feel like all your problems were gone. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? You're just flying in, you're just like, Especially new you're game. leaving tilted with like 12 kills. You're just like, yeah, like everything's no. quiet you're just walking you're just like, out of town anyone else swinging, <laughs> going to loot lake dude just, you know i had the world record at one time like the squad world team squad world record it's like you what and, was like, it who was it um uh, it you was me sheeny was it was gross. me sheeny whiz k and like uh that's how cracked he was he's playing with little twitter demons Fuck. Who was the fourth? The fourth like carried us too. Bald- was it Baldy? No, it wasn't Baldy. Oh, figures. I think it was this guy. Figures. figures yeah, fi- yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. Figs. But yeah, they were like little crackhead demons. Dude, those are. T- how like, long did you hold that record for? And what, how many kills did you guys got? Like a few weeks. I think we got like fifty six, and Tfue's squad had like fifty five. Oh shit! Felt so good about it, but you had it in your title the whole time. Yeah. But Current you, world record holder. Yeah. Put it on YouTube. Thought it was going to go viral. It didn't. didn't. It didn't. Nah. <laughs> I um, remember you saying that. Cause that like how many a, views did it get? Uh, th- Might be at like, I think it's above like 150. That's yeah, oh. pretty fucking good. Yeah, I but for like say. a wor- for a fortnight at like 2018 Fortnite World Record. Yeah, yeah those those videos were going insane. My, game, my gameplay pro- also Baldi wasn't like that. Bro entertaining to watch Dude, baldy's baldy's a uh, solo like solo record he had like 20 something you know he was on optic yeah no. so was for a little bit. yeah somehow yeah. baldy got held back Dude, baldy was, was actually so disgusting good. at fortnite dude that solo video is like so entertaining to watch too wait what is every it? one of his kills just looks so sick really every I one of his kills dude we should it. like watch it like i'm, I'm, I'm just want to put it on right now i'm down to watch it does that work yeah we can uh we can we can wrap this up and then and then watch it. You want you want to do that, Nick? Yeah, it's probably been a while now, right? This has to be been How an long hour. Has it been? An hour and a half. Really? An hour and a half? Mm-hmm. My God, it kind of flew by. That's that's, that's the flycast magic, man. Yeah, where we're all just actually friends. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> I just I just try to think with the corniest shit I could it's say. A, it's the flycast for sure. All right, you want to outro us, Nick? How do I outro this? Thanks so much I mean, to Formal again for coming any on. Outro music or coming do to the flycast. Formal, what are your thoughts on the flycast? We think, do have an outro. Would you come back? We do have an outro, but I, I, I want to ask back? you one more thing. <laughs> would you come back to this? Yeah, maybe. Should this be? This is like a special guest type of thing, especially right after the Halo event. We just had to hear you out. Had to make sure you're okay. Bring brought you back. Oh, I'm chilling, bro. Checked on you. Chilling. You're no longer checked. 
Mm-mm. I'm more mad at myself now. Well, Hitch, uh, do we have any outro music? 